So I'm sure everyone's very excited for the Uncharted movie. I just figured this is a perfect excuse to actually start playing the Uncharted games again. Uh, oh, Bluepoint helped with this. This is the uh, collection, so it's better and cooler. I think my settings should be saved. Volumes always turn sound effects down just a smidge because they're always a little too loud. Uh, I think game subtitles on. Yeah, every, everything was saved. So we're going to play Drake's Fortune because that's the first one. Uh, and also it loads up real quick. I have a little story about this game. I obviously tested some stuff real quick, but we'll do a new game. When, uh... Also, there's a speedrun mode. When I got a PlayStation 3, it came bundled with Drake's Fortune, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll play it, and then I played it and didn't care for it, and then just didn't bother. Uh... But when Uncharted 2 was announced, I don't know why I just got like into the kind of hype train that was surrounding Uncharted 2. So I was like, well, I got to play Uncharted 1 before I get into 2. So I ended up playing Uncharted 1 on easy mode just to get through it because like I said, I didn't really care for it when I first played. Um, and that was like, I think at the time when the game was patched to have trophies. So I think I kind of felt a little bit embarrassed about the fact that the world can see my EP was really small. So I decided when I played Uncharted 2 that I was going to play on the hardest difficulty, which I believe was hard because crushing was unlocked after you beat the game. I think Brutal's added to the remaster here. I'm pretty sure it was only up to crushing in the original. Uh, so I decided to play Uncharted 2 on hard mode, just to be like, hey, no, wait, look, see? I'm, I'm cool, I'm good at video games, I don't have to play on easy. And I actually enjoyed myself playing Uncharted 2 on hard, so I, that kind of like led me to just continue to try playing games on harder difficulties, and for the most part, I enjoy doing that. So, as a kind of weird redemption run, I guess I'll play on... I was gonna say play on hard, but because Crushing's unlocked, I kind of want to go for Crushing. I'm gonna go for Crushing difficulty. I'm big and cool. We'll save over that because we don't need that save file. Um, for the most part, I think it's just how much damage you take. But if you don't know, one Charta is a very much like more about run and gun. There is cover, but you kind of have to move around. So damage is going to be kind of wild. There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. That's like a thousand years old, though. No one cares what a noble man has to say. You can kind of tell this is like the coast of Panama, where we just recovered still what early we Naughty Dog because the there's a subtitle toggle. Explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <clears throat> For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. Oh, snap. The hell? Ah, <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. Oh, no, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could that's... you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? 
Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. This is big tutorial battle, but a nice little detail is that the uh, These guys have been telling me for weeks. wetsuit that they have what is Otzel brand, which is uh, the kind of a long story. Uh, Daxter animal. You can see there's a little Daxter on his shoulder there. And I'm being shot at while I'm trying to explain things. Please stop. It's rude. Ah. Explosion barrels. I probably should get into cover. So this is very much a region health kind of thing. So... Like I said, you kind of want to run and gun, but for the most part, you run, take some damage, get in the cover. Oh, they're coming on board. Okay, I need to get used to how this works. Yeah, I see them. I'm whacking them. Big combat. Big, big smackdown. Picked up ammo. How do I reload the ammo? Definitely not the dodge roll button and not the punch button. And not a little hop. Look at me go. Woo! Drake should be wearing his, like, flippers that he used for swimming while doing this. All right, brutal combo. Probably what we want to do immediately instead of a... Ooh. Okay. We just have to combo it. Ah, rude. Wait, how does it... I'm doing it wrong. Okay, I killed him, but I definitely wasn't doing it right. I guess it's more of a timing thing. Dodge roll. They're coming from all over. Bad. Okay. Oh, look at that little hop he did. We can kind of do a cool grapple from behind. It's mostly like contextual, just where you start it. Okay, I think. Oh! Okay, we're basically done with the tutorial. Which went smoother than I expected. Like, I. Part of why I didn't like this game to begin with, I think, was that I was really bad at it. And I might still be bad at it. There's also a gameplay. Uh. Thing that we'll get to later. I'm still getting shot at while I'm looking at that airplane. Oh, thank God! Yeah. Oh no. Ah, oh, no. uh, fire just showed up on the boat. What are you doing? We gotta get out of there. Forgot about his hog wild plane. What a cool plane. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Ah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, 
When Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh huh, so this. But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this. You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. <laughs> Must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. It's still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Should have seen that one coming. He really should have. You never trust Marky Mark, especially when he's driving a boat. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? Ha, <laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit, Equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was. Nate, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to jump on your head, Sully. On every word. Eh, why waste my breath? So, just stay, get in range? Okay. We're moving past it. So, I mean, this is very much a cinematic game if you are not aware, so there are going to be a lot of walk and talks before I was able to jump onto the ledge that I was on before. I really couldn't do anything but walk. I think this is where we start finding collectibles somewhere around here. I am not going to collect them all because I don't remember where they all are. I think I remember where the most important one is. I remember where it is in two at least. And I think I remember where it is in four, but not in three. Actually, I don't. I don't think I know where anything is right now. What? Loki's got wet shirt. The power of the PlayStation 3. It's here. Or you really could be master. Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. I don't fully remember, like, compared to three, how different this game looks. To three. Compared to the PlayStation 3, the original version, how different it looks compared to that. I think wet t shirts were still a thing. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. 
No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. I just like jumping on things. I like Drake's little like oh, hop. This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Man, Sully, why are you so cool? I like I very specifically remember a treasure to the right, but I think I'm being a little premature here. <laughs> no. This is more like it. I thought it was like before we entered a uh, Ruin area, but who knows? What do you think this is, Lincoln? Nah, it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. Sully, I'm just trying to look around. <gasps> Sully, stop doing your things. Was there a run button? That's a shoot button. I guess maybe we can go at a bit more of a brisk pace once we are in. A dire combat situation. I can't get up. Look at him. Look at him trying. He's trying his best. He's like, oh, Sully, boost me. I like these exploration sections. I don't think there's really much to them in this game. Besides trying to find bonus. But it's nice. There's kind of a... Um, I don't know if you'd say an ebb and flow of action to relaxing walk in the park kind of things. Find anything? Nothing yet. Can we look at not yet apparently. Alright. D pad for gun. Up still goes into like a zoom mode, even if there's not a specific look at. Whoa. Whoa. Be careful up there. I'm not gonna be careful. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. I guess I'm just following him. What's so funny oh. about it? Oh. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Nate could tell it was hollow from up here. It just looks like a bunch of grass. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, shortcut unlocked. I like that he was still kind of like scared being on this platform when he could have just left any time he wanted. I think that's just for a shortcut. I don't think... Oh. Oh, drop down. I don't think the collectibles are very easy to spot. They're like... There's like a shine to them. Obviously, we want to get to that. Secret. There it is. There's one anyways. Look at that monkey fella. I like the collectibles in this game. As you can see, there's 60, which is kind of a lot for a linear game. And I don't... I don't remember if you can chapter select to get them. But I like that they have unique models for each treasure. It makes them a little special to collect. Especially when you got a little monkey fella like this. Look at him go. First treasure unlocked. I forgot too. Like, this game technically had... The trophies show up, and I think they unlock the bonuses, rewards. So we have... Oh. What was that? Naughty Dog. Okay, he just has a Naughty Dog shirt on, obviously. I should have expected it. So basically, we can unlock bonuses from... Getting the collectibles, and... The one that we want the most is Donut Drake, because he's a cool guy. I don't know what Cartoon Drake is. I don't remember that. I guess because I never played Crushing. But Donut Drake's best Drake. And then, I don't know, everything else is just, like, characters. I don't know how Weapon Select works. Okay, you have to beat the game on the current difficulty. Because this would be, like, you can just select a weapon to use. But, obviously, that would be kind of against the, uh... How the game... Oh, that was a weird roll. That'd be kind of against uh, part of the game mechanic, too, of kind of just grabbing whatever guns on the floor if you run out of ammo. Which you'll 
kind of run into situations where you can't hold on to a gun. We have... I don't remember how many guns we can hold in total. If it's just the full... Not the full D-pad range, because up's not a D-pad. I think it's just two. And then I don't know if, like, the down arrow is reload. But, uh... They'll find they'll be in situations where you just won't be able to really pick up ammo for a gun that you might like. And you'll have to just deal with what you have. Whoop! Look at that! It's a secret, Sully! We found the secret! Sully, put him up. I like your watch. Good watch. Uh, flashlights for this one. Good thing whoa, whoa. I brought... Oh, bats! Good thing I brought a flashlight on my little... My little... Waist line. I, I couldn't think of what part of the human body that was. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. Sully. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Yeah. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. The Spaniards sure left a lot of crap behind. I forgot how they move out of the way when you get close to them. I like bullying people. Look at me bully. Okay, where are we going? This way? Where the light shines? Have you ever Gentlemen, just been... That's quite a drop. No. It's... You're not kidding. It's not. I can make it. I can make it. You gotta find a way across. No, I get it. And you need to shoot. Oh, I forgot about shooting. There's a barrel. You don't even know what's in that barrel. <laughs> That'll work. Let me see. Can I reload? How would I reload? There we go. I figured it out. They probably had a button prompt, but I was being shot at by pirates on crushing difficulty, so... That tutorial can still be pretty rough, even though it's a tutorial. Like, make no doubt about it, crushing difficulty might be a bit of a mistake. But we'll, uh, we'll deal with what we got. Oh, go mash that button! Mash it good! Get in there, Sully! I'm gonna drop it on your head! Here, let me do that. Okay. You, you could have just started doing it and not make me do the whole thing, but... I'll hold it open. See if you can jam it from the other side. We're solving puzzles, me and Sully. All right, let go. Besties let go. forever. I can't imagine that crate... Hurry, that, like, whole wagon being strong enough. Yeah. That was a little too close. Let's hope this place has a back door, huh? Nah, we're stuck here. You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Okay. Yeah, it is touchpad. They just didn't let me use it yet. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, so after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? Yeah. Can we switch pages? Oh, we can't even open it. I think in later games, you can actually look at all of the pages in a journal. But for now, it seems like we're kind of just stuck with where they want us to look specifically. 
but it's kind of neat in later games because you could technically scroll to a different page that has a puzzle solution for something later. We gotta figure a way to clear this debris. Move it. Put in some legwork. Tully, you're not that old. Put use their muscles. Tully. Give me a hint, Sully. Can I like shoot? This it? wood's pretty dry. I bet we could burn it. Sully, don't tell me what to do if I'm gonna try to do it. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. I did good, now Sully. You gotta jump in. Dive in. Can I do oh, never mind. Okay, goodbye. I like everyone reacting when I die. Ah, oh, jeez, Nate. You fell. Sully. Sully, you're in my... Sully! Your flashlight! Sully, please! Bit of a problem, as you can imagine, with this game. I, I say imagine, but... I. I'm sure you probably heard about it is that the traversal is pretty on rails of just bouncing and hitting the button kind of similar to oh there's a vine there I was gonna say what is that close enough to drop kind of similar to like Assassin's Creed but I feel like Assassin's Creed still has a bit more puzzle elements to traversing and also I say Assassin's Creed I mean like Blow that up. Bam! Well, good thing that ladder was there. I just blew that up for fun. I mean, like, early Assassin's Creed had a lot of just the button presses I have not played. What is this? I'm gonna... Bang! Oh! Let's get going. Bang! Nothing. I wonder if they would have given me ammo somewhere if I used it all up. Since I have to blow up things. But yeah, traversal's pretty on rails. I don't think there's a lot of situations where you have to really put in critical thinking. Which sometimes leads to me just jumping and assuming that I'm going to grab onto something and then falling into a pit and Sully going, Oh, damn, Drake. I wonder who decided to die in a pile. They probably put the bodies there after the fact. But I like to imagine that that's just where they died. They saw a dead body and said, yep, let's just die here as well. Like the walls. Look at that scary man. There's like a, a normal dude and then like a scary skeleton zombie lad. Actually, they're both skeletons. That one just doesn't have his mouth open with his weird tongue sticking out. Sully, what are you doing with your head in the wall? Sully, knock it off. Sully's such a prankster. One thing you can also notice is sometimes there's just waist-high cover for some reason. Makes you wonder why. Probably no reason, right? A lot of skulls around. I can jump on this. Oh. As much as I'm like auto jumping, you can also technically. What? Do you make of this? What? What, what, Wait, what are you I talking recognize about? These symbols. They're in my journal. Uh, when Drake reaches out his the arm, that means you can grab something. Has some importance. Who wrote the numbers on them? All right, that thing. That thing. That thing and that thing. So not you. There's like that one. I guess I need to push that. Can I stop? Give me a triangle. I can reach this. Ah. So like clearly that. That stinger music scared me. Clearly that puzzle solution is, is there on that notebook. 
and it's for this room, but I think in later games you can just kind of... Okay, nope. I'm fine. I'm okay. In later games, you can change the page just to see this somewhere else, and you'll just have to worry about it. Did I write the order of these signs has some importance, or was that Sir Francis Drake? Because that, that seems a little silly. I think uh, Nathan here does write in it on his own. That's the last one. Oh, no, these are just the ones I am trying to push. Who died there? I guess I can only go up from over here. I accidentally did a bit of a super jump when I shouldn't have. It's fine. We go this way. We can solve puzzles. Pretty sure it's that one. I want to double check so I don't ruin anything. I would love a situation where they get to, like, the first temple in their big treasure hunting adventure, and it just has the gold, and that's it. It's over. Oh, no! I goofed! I was not paying attention. That was the last one? Oh, yeah, I was. Uh... Oh, no! Can I... Jump back to this? I can. I feel like doing that is going to be quicker than trying to shimmy. I can't believe I failed the first puzzle. Everyone knows the angry man should be last. Also, very much in all of these puzzle situations, your uh, friend, if they are with you, is just going to hang out and be like, Well, I'm too old to climb things. Even if they're not too old, they just don't feel like it. So once we uh, push the Yoko Taro symbol... Magic happens. I always love how wild architecture is in these, like, treasure hunting adventure games Pretty or deep. movies. Yeah. Like, who, like who could build that? To the side. Wait here while I check it out. Alright, I'm glad you mentioned the ladder because I was going to jump careful. right in there. Why, why you doing this, Nathan. Nathan! Nath! Sully! That's a ladder, right? There we go. Maybe I didn't have to press the circle button. Hey, watch your step down there. No. You didn't want to come down here, Sully? Okay, he's just gonna sit there and stare at the wall. Oh, the scary skeletons. And whatever this is. Look how, like, tired this thwomp looks. He's just like, yeah, I'm kind of done with it all. I've been in this room for ages. Okay, getting somewhere. Are we? We're just doing things. Oh, uh, I guess there's no more water. Was that really enough to make this swimmable? I don't think that would have filled up quite as much. Can I dive? I can swim very poorly. I'm going to put this out there. I don't think swimming is a good idea. He's not very fast at swimming. I'm really wet. Good observation there, Drake. I appreciate you. I'm really going through this without even, like, finding anything to collect, so... Like I said, not really going for it yet. I say yeah. Ooh, I... Speedrun strat, because that was not what I wanted to grab onto, but it worked out. I'm on the other side! Can you get 
this open. No, I'm going my own way. I punch these. I think I tried and it didn't work. But I want to shoot them. What if there's a goodie inside? There wasn't. Okay, Sully, I got you. Maybe should have warned you first. He doesn't nice seem like he one. cares. Oh, see, he thought it was good. Yeah, high five, Sully. He said I did a good job. Oh, I needed two people I here. Oh, I guess these just stay. I hope these don't fall. This looks safe. Sure, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> and that's where Nate's story ends. 